Hello everyone, this is ASMR today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial today I'll show you another portrait effect or portrait photo editing in the uh, camera raw filter and this one is my video thumbnail and the cover photo so I am going to make this type of photo today when with the file and place just press open and this one okay after that make a copy by pressing ctrl j of this background layer and the filter and then camera filter from the camera filter i'll just uh, add some just uh, some settings over there and i'll give the give you that settings to you okay i'm decreasing the highlights decreasing the exposure add some contrast shadow a little bit whites and blacks okay after that the from the effects dehaze this one a little bit plus six and amount of just uh, vignetting actually amount of vignette okay after that camera uh, actually camera calibration from the camera calibration i'll make it like that add some saturation like that and adjust the color okay from the hsl reduce the green color luminance and yellow color luminance add some orange decrease the red luminance and increase the red saturation and like that from the curves I'll make like uh, this type of effects a little bit just foggy okay from the blue palette I'll give And then sharpness, amount of sharpening like that, and noise reducer. And the detail little bit, contrast little bit, and hit the OK. After that, adjustment layer and the color lookup, horror blue color, 3DL, and make the opacity 32%. And then go to the curves. From the curves just place one point here and another point over there and just add like that and from the level you can adjust like that okay that's good and selecting all the things in a group and making it merge after merge this one going to the filter again and the neat collection color effects pro 4 from the color effects pro 4 i'll add another things which is the cross processing filter and it will make uh, your photo more like that okay you can make it as your own or you can apply one of them i should apply this one and hit the ok button it's loading uh, after loading this one it will give you the uh, output like that and from the brightness and contrast I'll down the brightness add some contrast over there okay and how just I write down here uh, easily okay at first take a new text layer which is like that and I'll write down happy and you can use any kind of font and I'm using the robot font you can download or use this font or other fonts roboto like you can use the regular or black one I'm changing the color of this one white and the font size uh, like 150 okay and write down happy and press ctrl t and make it bigger like that okay that's good and make it uh, in a proper middle place that's why just press the ctrl a uh, all the things will select and select this layer the text layer and alignment just in a middle okay press ctrl d for the deselect and i'll make it restylize text after that down the opacity for the uh, this area actually the legs of the woman 
okay reduce this one okay and now select this one and mask it after masking this one go to the pen tool and select here and in a path you can just select over there the legs of women actually you have to maintain the uh, parts of that legs you can reduce the opacity of this one it will help you more okay after that At first I'll delete the portion of A right press and make selection and hit OK uh, just in a mask options press the delete button uh, when that is white you can you have to make it white too okay after that uh, this portion okay I have to mask it again and just use the pen tool for the proper selection and it will make more perfect uh, to the make it like that uh, it's pop uh, up from the background like that of the curl okay I'm selecting this one okay right press make selection pixel 0 and hit ok press the delete button okay press ctrl D after that increase the opacity uh, this type of uh, effect over there if you want to apply the drop shadow go to the blending options and the drop shadow a little bit okay that's good and hit okay you can change the color if you want to change the color go to the blending options again and the color overlay from the color overlay you can change it easily like yellow red or other things this one is good and hit the ok button you'll get nice effect and uh, the nice text shape uh, which is uh, just uh, behind of the model and popping up on ground like that okay this one is our video today if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel and i'll be back soon with a new amazing tutorial if you subscribe my channel it will inspire me a lot thank you so much